Lenovo's ThinkPad X1 Carbon line has a decade-long tradition of delivering industry-leading business laptops that usually sit among the best ultrabooks for productivity. Starting at $1,319, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon continues this legacy with a fantastic keyboard, a bright and colorful display and solid performance all wrapped up in a lightweight package with strong build quality. It even throws in a sharp 1008 app webcam for good measure. However, in attempting to upgrade the ThinkPad X1 Carbon's performance for Gen 10, Lenovo has significantly harmed its battery life. The company primarily sells the Carbon with Intel's 28W P-Series processors rather than the 15YU series CPU it used in prior Gen products. The result is a laptop that lasted less than 9 hours on our battery test, which is several hours less than both competitors in last year's X1 Carbon. If you're willing to compromise on endurance, however, the X1 Carbon is a strong choice that will make you more productive. Design The Raven Black, boxy, angular chassis of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon hasn't changed in quite a while so if you've seen a prior model, you may not notice any differences. But Lenovo's ThinkPad aesthetic is like the design of a Rolls-Royce or a Jaguar a classic look that doesn't need to be reinvented with each product generation. As always, the black chassis has just a few splashes of vibrant red, in the form of the X1 Carbon logo, the illuminated red eye and ThinkPad which shows the power slash sleep status and the track point pointing stick which lives in the middle of the keyboard. If you want an extra dose of style, you can opt for a lid with a crosshatch, carbon fiber pattern. With a starting weight of just 2.48 pounds, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon remains one of the lightest 14-inch laptops on the market and is even svelter than 13-inch competitors such as the MacBook Air and Lenovo's own ThinkPad Z13. Asus's ZenBook S13 is just 0.5 pounds lighter, but HP Elite Dragonfly is a feathery 2.2 pounds. Productivity Performance Our review configuration of the ThinkPad X1 Carbon came configured with an Intel Core Ice 1260p CPU, 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. With these kinds of specs, it almost goes without saying that everyday tasks such as web browsing, watching videos and editing documents are smooth and seamless. With 16GB of RAM, you can do a lot of multitasking too. However, Lenovo made a polarizing choice with the processor. While prior Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Carbon's use 15YU series CPU to save power, this X1 Carbon comes with a 28W P-series processor that has hit its TDP configured down to 20 watts. The 12-core processor, which has 4 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores, promises better performance while using just a little more power, but, on our tests, the X1 Carbon didn't always outpace competitors with 15-watt processors and its battery life is much lower. Display The ThinkPad X1 Carbon Gen 10 is available with a variety of 16-10 aspect ratio panels, with resolutions ranging from 1920x1200 up to 3840x2400. Our review configuration sported a 1920x1200 touchscreen which provided bright, sharp images with wide viewing angles and solid color reproduction. The 16-10 aspect ratio is great for surfing the web or editing documents, because it provides 11% more vertical screen real estate than a typical 16-9 display. That could mean an extra paragraph of text before you need to scroll. When I watched a 1008 trailer for the Netflix show Wednesday, Fine details like the main character's eye browser, the stripes on a girl's school uniform were sharp and detailed. Colors like the red of school lockers or the blue of pooled water seemed particularly vibrant. And images were easy to see, with barely any washout, at a full 90 degrees to the left or right. Battery life Likely because of its high-powered P-Series Intel processor, the ThinkPad X1 Carbon 10th Gen has much worse battery life than its competitors and than the prior generation. On our battery test, which involves web surfing and video streaming at 150 nits of brightness, Lenovo's laptop lasted a mere 8 hours and 48 minutes. That might not sound bad when taken in isolation, but consider that the Gen X1 Carbon, Gen 9 we tested last year which had the same 1920x1200 resolution display but a 15YU series processor endured for 15 hours and 39 minutes. If your daily use is more intensive than our test, you run at full brightness, for example, you could find yourself needing to plug in well before the workday is done. I hope you found this video helpful. It's my pleasure if you were helped a little at least. If you have anything to query for, please comment us below. Thank you for watching this video.